Forgiveness is a choice when you release someone from that debt. Good morning, beautiful people. It's Friday. That means we are in the weekend. And we get sleepy tomorrow, which is exciting. But as you can see, I'm on my way to work. I decided to sleep in today, so I'm going a little bit later. That means I'm gonna get off a little bit later. But I hope you have a great day. I hope you have an amazing Friday. And I'll see you guys in the office. Bye. Hi guys, I just made it to the office and there's nobody in here. I'm the only person in here. It's crazy because it's like, it's 9.30. Where's everybody at? But it's also Friday. Most people work from home on Friday, so. <laughs> but uh, that's life working as a clinical research coordinator. That is a hyper position. You're gonna be alone by yourself your first 90 days. <laughs> because most people work from home, especially like on Friday, Monday, Wednesday, like those days are dead. But I'm gonna do my devotions because you always have to start with G.O.D. He's the center, he comes number one. So I'm gonna do my devotions and then afterwards I'm gonna get some work done and hopefully it gets to like three o'clock very fast so I can go home. In reality, wounds against you are a debt that a person owes you. Forgiveness is a choice when you release someone from that debt. It's not simple, it's hard. You're never going to feel like it. It's a process. You don't just forgive, release them from the debt and walk out happy. That's not reality choose to release someone from a wound and then you have to remember that you chose to do that let's be honest with each other there's no forgetting and forgiveness but there is a choice to not dwell on it after doing my devotions i get straight into work and then i start my day at the office so right now i am just taking care of some regulatory documents I have to print out to update this regulatory binder for one of my studies. And then I also know I have to submit a couple of regulatory documents to our website. Well, I just got done updating my regulatory documents for my regulatory binder. Now I'm going to move on to my other task, which is to upload a bunch of regulatory documents to our Encore website. For example, the IRB approvals, CIRB approvals, informed consent, um, assent, and anything that needs up to date on this website. So, and then afterwards, I know I have to get some delegation lock signed for the consortium. I work for the pediatric hematology slash oncology department. So most of the studies are based on cancer um, and anything related to cancer, bone marrow transplant. So that's my field and that's my world. And I absolutely love it. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit sad because you see little kids who are undergoing chemo or having cancer and are going through this treatments and have to take multiple drugs like i know one of the people at a particular study i worked on they have to take like six tablets in the morning and then six in the evening so that's 12 in total and this is like a little child like younger than me so it's definitely a field not for the faint-hearted but if you're really passionate about it definitely go into it i know from working as a research coordinator now i definitely would not want to work with cancer patients unless god tells me this is the population i have to work with because it's so draining and it's so sad and i feel like i will be taking my patients problems back home and thinking about them and i just want to have 
a specialty that helps me to do this you know help the patients but not also taking it back home like have that personal and work-life balance so i have been constipated and i took some laxatives this morning and my stomach is going through it i've been to the bathroom three times already <laughs> have to go home early because of this but <clears throat> that's an update for my day and i will see y'all later and let you know if i go home so the hospital is so big that i work on the other side of the hospital so for me to get to this side i had to go across like three skyways <laughs> but i finally made a year so i'm just waiting for the person to sign this delegation log and then i'm gonna walk back all the way over there and go home but that's my day and that's a day in the life of a clinical research coordinator so the reason i have to have delegation log signed is because we have an audit coming up and they're gonna be looking at our regulatory document to making sure everything is up to date. But also you have to have delegations log signed for any study you're starting up. And as people come and go, they have to sign those delegation logs. But I would say working as a research coordinator, it's a very easy job. Um, one downside is you don't really have a lot of patient interaction. So if you're looking for a job that is chill, work at nine to five, get your holidays off, you're still getting clinical experience you know you're interacting with physicians you have somewhat of an interactions with patients and it's not really that tough you're not working in a lab all day I would say definitely apply to work as a clinical research coordinator because I've really learned a lot and especially as someone who would like to do research in the future I've learned a lot about the regulatory side and what goes into making research especially at the clinical stage and like the trials and everything so it's definitely a place for growth and it's a stepping stool so if you're looking for something light and easy and you don't want to stress as much definitely apply for it but i hope this video was helpful i hope you enjoyed watching me make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys next time <music>